Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and, Funny and we are Funny, Funny Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video But before we get into the reaction guys, I want to say thank you for subscribing. You guys are really amazing And thank you so much for being part of uh, The people who've actually I mean the people who've been suggesting on the comment section below you guys are amazing and Another thing we're getting into 21. I mean we got into 21,000 subscribers uh, we're heading to 30,000. I know we're gonna get there soon enough and Yeah, so thank you so much for just you know um, just watching our videos and being part of this whole uh, family thing So yeah uh, Right about now we're gonna do another reaction video this one right here was suggested by One of the guys in the comment section below. He suggested that we should go react to 10 su 10 surprising fact about Hinduism so without any further ado, let's get it. Despite being one of the major world religions, many people are unaware of some of the basic facts about the Hindu religion. Because there's no one set way Hinduism should be practiced, most Hindus just refer to it simply as a way of life. Hey, thanks for coming back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and here are some surprising and interesting facts about Hinduism. But before we jump into the facts, I want to know guys, what do you think of first when you hear the word Hinduism? Sound off down below in the comment section. Is it yoga? Is it meditation? Is it Hindu gods? I don't know. I'm interested to see what you got to say. Okay, so for our first fact, Hinduism has approximately 1.1 billion followers globally, which works out to be 15% of the world's total population. Hinduism is the third largest religion in the world after Christianity and Islam. So of course it has a huge impact on the global scale. Let's now look at the goals of Hinduism. So Dharma, meaning righteousness, Artha means money, Kama, right desire, moksha means salvation, and those make up the four main life goals of Hinduism. The goal of life in Hinduism is to attain salvation or moksha. Self-realization and freedom from the cycle of death and rebirth is the final goal. In Hinduism, there's a belief in the circular rather than a linear concept of time, hence the belief in the life and death cycles. Time is divided up into four stages. There's the Satya Yuga, which is the golden age of innocence. There's the Trita Yuga, Dwapara Yuga and the Kala Yuga is the final stage. Speaking more about the cycles in time, in Hindu cosmology, it is believed that life is created and destroyed in a cycle every 4.32 billion years. Now it's interesting that this period is pretty close to the current estimated scientific age of the earth, just maybe a little bit more. Now the major books in Hinduism are the Vedas, the Ramayana, and there are 18 Puranas, and there's also the Mahabharata and the Bhagavad Gita, which is part of the Mahabharata, but is often read on its own. The Vedas are the central text in Hinduism. Lord Brahma is credited with composition of the Vedas, which were passed down from the great sages to their disciples. Now when it comes to the Vedas, there are four Vedas in total. There's the Rig Veda, Yadra Veda, Sama Veda, and the Artharva Vida. Now more about the Mahabharata specifically. It's one of the major religious texts for Hindus as I just mentioned and it's the longest epic poem in the entire world and it also is described as the longest poem ever written. The longest version of the Mahabharata consists of over 100,000 shalokas or 200,000 individual verse lines, about 1.8 billion words in total. Bottom line is it's long. You thought the Bible was long? Uh-uh, ain't got nothing on the Mahabharata. <laughs> <laughs> You'll also find some gender equality in Hinduism and what I mean by that is Hinduism is perhaps the only religion that really shows off almost an equal number of male and female deities. Now deities are of both genders and they're equally worshipped. And by the way, these deities aren't supreme gods, they're just avatars of the supreme god. The next thing I want to share is that it is one of the few religions that does not consider the pursuit of wealth to actually be a sin. So Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, both material and spiritual, is also a testament to that fact in Hinduism. So if your life purpose is to go get rich, make a lot of money, you're okay in Hinduism. Did you know that Hinduism also promotes organ donation? The first example of organ donation in the world can be found in Hindu mythology. Sage Dadichi, he happily donated his bones so that Lord Indra could use them to create a weapon called the Vadra, 
Uh, and he uses weapon to go and kill demons. Now the final thing I want to share is that the largest Hindu temple in the world is surprisingly not in India, but it's actually located in Angkor, Cambodia. The temple is called the Angkor Wat and it measures 1,626,000 square meters. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video about 10 surprising facts about Hinduism. Now it's hard to place the label of a religion on Hinduism as there's so many aspects to it and honestly you could take a whole lifetime to cover, I know. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below and yeah, let me know also what comes to mind when you first think about Hinduism. Now if you enjoyed this video, you thought it was interesting and educational at the same time, you can check out another one of our related videos, tap the annotation right here. Also follow me, my social media links are below in this video description, shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hit that subscribe button as well and ring that bell so you'll be notified of our daily episodes here on FTD Facts. Okay, you guys have been awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you tomorrow in another episode. What do you think? Um, I mean, the facts are just fascinating, you know. Um, I knew some of them, but some of them I didn't know which is pretty much uh, interesting. I mean, um, I didn't know that it was the, was it the second largest? Third. That was the third largest, yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it, it was maybe uh, around, if not fourth or fifth, yeah, but anyway, yeah. Um, they say like Hinduism is a lifestyle, I don't know. But uh, I kind of like some of their practices. practices and whatnot, which is, it's, 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 um, it's more like, I mean, it's, uh, it, it involves your body, your breathing and all those kind of stuff, you know, so. May part yoga? Yeah, like meditation, meditation yoga and all those kind of stuff. They're really important, especially for your for your health, breathing, and all those things. I think it's it's one of the things that I've learned in life to to kind of practice. Like meditation is really important, you know. Yeah. So I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think I only knew one of these. No, two. I'm not even sure. I'm actually. I was also actually shocked by not that that said, but the number of people practicing this religion. And to me, I always say every day, at least learn something. This is me learning something today. That is, um, and it was just interesting to listen to. I'm trying to see if there's any particular one I want to talk about. No, not really. I don't think there's anything in particular I want to talk about, but do you have anything to say? No, I think it's just clear. I mean, the fact, so there's yeah. not much to say. So if there's anything you want to say about this video, feel free to comment down below. Um, if there's anything you want to suggest, let us know down below. Just give us the name or the link and we'll react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.